Is it bad for your knees to go over your toes? Most people have probably heard the advice at some point or another to not let your knees go over your toes when you do things like squat or lunge. But where did this idea come from and is it really a bad thing to do? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate. I'm a third year doctorate of physical therapy student. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things pain, injury, and fitness. So I did a lot of digging on this topic and it was honestly pretty hard to find where this advice first came from. But one source I found was from some research from the 19th 50s by a guy named Dr. Carl Klein. Dr. Klein spent a lot of time researching knees and watching people lift and he came to the conclusion that it was dangerous to have your knees go over your toes when you do things like squat. And a few years later, Sports Illustrated actually did an article on the research which is likely where it started to seep into the minds of the general public. There was also some research in the early 2000s that found when you restrict your squat and don't let your knees go over your toes, you decrease the force that you put through the knee. So people started to use this data to justify not squatting deep and not letting your knee go over your toes. But that same study also found an increase in forces at the hips and the low back by over a thousand percent when you restrict your squat like this. So all this really tells us is that you can shift the forces from the knee to the hips or the low back and vice versa. But force on its own is not a bad thing and it's not bad to have force go through the knee joint. In fact, that's exactly what you want to do if you want to strengthen the knee. We also have some more recent research showing that when you go past about 90 degrees, the force forces on the knees actually start to go back down again. This is known as the wrapping effect and it's when your quad tendon starts to come into contact with your femur which sort of spreads out the forces a little bit more evenly. So having your knees go over your toes is just going to temporarily shift the forces onto your knees a little bit which isn't a bad thing. Now there are certain circumstances when going knees over toes might be uncomfortable or might be something to avoid temporarily. For example, if you're dealing with something like patellar tendinopathy or patellofemoral pain, this might be something that's a little bit uncomfortable and something that you hold off on for a little bit. But even in cases like this, going knees over toes is an unavoidable movement of everyday life and it's probably something that should be worked back into once the pain levels go down. Like with almost any movement, knees over toes is not something that should be feared but rather something that should be trained. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all things pain, injury, and fitness. I'll see you next video.